Hello, this is Frater Ralph, and I'm going to do a video here on round decks. I know it, it, they come in a square box, but believe me, they are round. This is the Motherpiece uh, Tarot deck, and this one I like. It has a very strong feminine feel to it, plus it has a very strong shamanic feel to it. And here we have the Daughter of Discs showing a woman and uh, more of a shamanistic type of a, uh, of a setting. And I just got these decks not too long ago. There's another round deck that I have. And uh, I'm really not too comfortable giving readings with these yet, not until I've learned the symbology a little bit better. Here, let me bring that up close. And uh, there is the Priestess of Cups. And i got to turn it around again. And here is the Ten of Wands. And the reason I am bringing out my round deck here, uh, other than just to show them off, is to illustrate why, see, I am not a fan of uh, upright readings or upside-down readings only. When you're dealing, let, let me demonstrate this. When you're dealing with a rectangular deck, like this is my old standby, the uh, Rider Waite, uh, designed by Pamela Cole, or not, painted by Pamela Coleman Smith, you've got uh, you've you, you've got two possible positions that that this card can fall into in a spread. You know, either the the upright or the upside down position. And that's really all you can get, pretty much, unless you deal it, you know, <laughs> back up and, and then just leave it that way. But really, you've only got two basic positions that the cards can fall into. Now, when you're dealing with a round deck, or, and there, I'll, I'll, I'll get into regular playing cards later, too. But when you're dealing with a round deck, let's just shuffle them up. And deal out a sample spread to illustrate this point. There we go. And again. Yeah, you got the round deck here. With a round deck, virtually anything can happen. I mean, except for the card standing up on edge. I've never seen that happen in a reading. But with a round deck, you can have like, okay, uh, is that upside down? Is it right side up? It's sideways. <laughs> and this happens quite frequently in readings done with round decks. Uh, another sideways card. And, okay, that's almost upside down. So the question is, when you're dealing with a round deck, how do you interpret sideways cards? I mean, upside down cards, okay, yeah, you pretty much know how to interpret that from dealing with rectangular decks. And upright meanings, that's fairly obvious. But yeah, sideways, what, what do you do? Now, some readers that use round decks will adjust this way and just assume that everything is supposed to be upright and then do your reading and then while you're doing the reading, ask your spirit guides to guide you or just seek out your own intuition and let that guide you to uh, tell you should the card be right side up or upside down. And I'll do this quite frequently uh, in, in readings using any style of deck and just follow my intuition. And if uh, something tells me that this deck I mean, excuse me, this card should be upside down, I'll feel free to turn it upside down. If uh, my intuition tells me it should be right side up, then yeah, deal it, uh, I mean, turn it right side up and then give your interpretation. Now at the round decks, there is the added dimension of sideways readings. And I haven't really studied too much on this, but yeah, you've got the added dimension of you know, sideways readings. Here we have the two of discs, sideways, but the head pointing into the past direction. So there we could give the interpretation that you've had success in business 
But, you know, in the past and way in the past, because if you imagine that to be like an arrow, that arrow is pointing that way. Now, the Eight of Wands, speed, you know, things happening very fast, very quickly, a lot of energy coming into your, uh, into your life. Uh, that's sideways, but it's pointing, the head is pointing this way. Imagine it being an arrow, it's pointing towards the future. So from that, we could give the interpretation, you know, sideways, uh, arrow pointing to the past. You've had success in the past, distant past. Maybe not quite much in the present, but your distant past, yeah, a lot of success. Now, for the present card, indicating a future direction, the arrow going this way. Uh, again, because the head is up here. It is sideways, but it's looking towards the future. And that could be an indication that, yeah, your life may not seem to be going uh, very many places right now, but you're going to pick up speed, and in the future, you're going to enjoy a lot of creative energy coming into your life, things changing very rapidly, and uh, you know things going your way. And then with the, uh, uh, what is this, the Ace of Cups, uh, the future card indicating that, yeah, you're going to have fun. You've got new energy of emotions, emotional security, love, nurturing, you know, all the, the good fluffy bunny stuff. Or in this case, we have white swans, white swan stuff indicating that your future is going to be one of uh, new energy, uh, bringing you happiness, emotional contentment, and just a good basis for further growth. So that's one way we can interpret sideways cards using round decks. And of course, the other way is to just assume that they're all supposed to be right side up. And then as you go through doing your reading, if something tells you to turn something upside down, like, you know, this, okay, well, yeah, you're not, don't have much to look forward to unless you, uh, you make some changes in your life. But yeah, just follow your gut instinct and do what you feel is natural. And so that's one reason why a person may want to kind of break out of the mindset of doing upright and reversed interpretations only. Because if you're thinking about experimenting with a round deck, uh, you're going to have to learn how to deal with sideways cards. And in an upcoming video, I'm going to demonstrate doing tarot readings without a tarot deck. Uh, that will involve using regular playing cards in the place of tarot cards. And that can be done, but uh, of course, one problem there, using regular uh, playing cards instead of tarot cards, is that with playing cards, everything comes upright. All your cards are going to be dealt upright. There is no upside down when you're dealing with regular playing cards. So when you do that, you're going to have to figure out, again, what to do with uh, cards that are only upright and how to use your intuition to tell you if a card should be upright or reversed because the deck is not going to automatically do that for you. So this is Frater Ralph signing off, wishing you a blessed day of spiritual discovery, and uh, thanks for tuning in. We will catch you all later.